I'm talking to Robert Jaquist of the of American Thermoform, and I'm looking at a piece of paper with a, a butterfly on it, and Robert's going to explain to us what I'm looking at and what I'm feeling. Okay, this paper is called Swell Touch Paper. It is technically micro capsule paper. It's coated with a special coating. And when printed on with black carbon-based ink, uh, you can then put it through a machine like this and it will raise the image. So for the people who can't see the video, this we're looking at something that looks like, kind of like a big black tall printer, but it's got fans on the top. Right. Some people used to call these things a Susie Bake Oven. <laughs> So the, uh, the page would go through and from the front and come out on the back side. And what's going on on the inside? Uh, it's exposed to infrared light. So the paper gets printed on with a, just a normal printer to start? Normal laser printer. Okay, so normal laser printer prints black on it and then it goes through the, uh, the infrared here and then what happens? It ra the image raises. So you have a flat image coming in the front, you have a raised image coming out behind. Whoops, didn't mean to bump the microphone. And uh, so that's how that machine works. So for uh, the people not seeing this, as I run my fingers over this, I can, wherever there's a solid uh, line, it's, it's a quite significantly raised, very easy to feel with my fingers. There's a grid of cells here. I've got a butterfly now. They've uh, they politely colored it for the uh, sightlings, but uh, you can definitely feel there's little tiny holes in the butterfly's wings, and I can feel the antennas, uh, sorry, antennae, and uh, and little bumps over here. That and we've got braille on there as well. That's pretty cool. And then we make a machine called the Braillo Braille Embosser, and it produces Library of Congress spec braille. And our Braillo Braille embossers run anywhere from 300 characters a second to 650 characters a second. And um, depending upon which one, some of them just print embossed paper. Some, we have the high end will actually make magazine type pages, uh, put a cover on and staple it for you. Oh, now that, that's, that's, that's for the high end folks that want to make lots of magazines. So um, back to this uh, this infrared embosser. Um, how do you do you expect to sell this into businesses? I would imagine this would be for well, you, uh, students at home might get use one. This is a fifteen hundred dollar item. Everything's expensive, right? Yes. Yeah, so it would be use, usable for people at home, schools businesses where you need to see charts and graphs and things like that. You know, I'm saying $1,500 is expensive, but the new uh, Apple display is $50, $1,600, so this is to be able to see right with your fingers. Right. Now, the CSUN people gave out these books that describe the hotel lobby. And so what we're looking at here is a series of embossed pages in a spiral pages. notebook, and right. you can figure out now where this, to go. This, stuff was, this is actually thermoformed. So somebody made a master out of strings and uh, embossed foil, and I don't know who knows what they used. And then they put a sheet of plastic over it, and then there was a machine called a thermoform machine, and it's got a big oven, and you pull the oven over, and you wait for 10 seconds, and the motor goes, and then you shove the oven back and let it cool for a little bit and pop it out, and you have a copy. And that technology has been around since the early 60s. So that's the old and busted way of doing it, not yeah. the cool new way. Right. Well, but, you know, there's a, you, a thermoform makes beautiful tactile graphics. You some of the best tactile graphics you'll ever see come out of thermoform. Because you can do things with thermoform that it's very hard to do with anything else. Well, this is very cool. I've never seen anything like this. And uh, if people wanted to learn more about it, where would they go? I would go to American Thermoform and uh, AmericanThermoform.com. Very good. Thank you very much, Robert. This is pretty cool stuff. And uh, I will give you a brochure and you can add on whatever contact information you need. Very good, thank you very much, appreciate your time. You have a great day.